I want to show you some things regarding saving a Forms Central form that's been created. So when I first create my form, it ends up being saved into the My Forms tab within Forms Central. So if I click it, I can go ahead and open up that specific form. Now this is the cake order form, and all I've done, if I click inside this area, is taken this from a text and image option. I removed the picture of the cake from this form. So just know if it only has text, it's my version of this form. Makes it easy for you to be able to tell that. Now I'm going to close this up and it moves me right back to my forms. So what I'm doing is going back and forth within the form central interface. What if I don't want to work with it there? Let me open this cake order form. And what I'm going to do is go over to the file menu. And within the file menu, notice there's four menu items here along with signing in. And this would sign you into the Form Central online service. And you do need to have signed up for that. The Form Central I'm in right now is my local version. It's the program sitting on my computer only. I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to choose Save as PDF Form. When I click that, notice what happens. It goes out to save this to my system, but notice what else happens. I'll click Save. It opens that exact form in Adobe Acrobat automatically when I save it using the file Save as PDF Form. So you now have it available within Acrobat to work on if you prefer. And I'll set this up so we can see a little bit more of it so I don't have to scroll quite so much. Now this is definitely my version because it does not have the image up at the top. So that is one piece that you should be aware of. You can take those templates and move them into Adobe Acrobat in that manner to build your form here. If I go over to File, Properties, you can see this is automatically a tagged PDF if it's created coming from Forms Central. And just in case you see Adobe Forms Central within the application area, you now know what that means. So I'll click OK. Now what if I want to save another copy of the form within Acrobat? Let me go ahead and do a Save As. I'll save this as Cake Order Form Version 2. And notice down in this area, I have Save to Online Account, New Account, or just click Save. So I'll click the Save button, and here is my Version 2. Now I can go into Form Editing, so I'll click Form Editing Mode. And this is the piece that you need to be aware of. When you create a form from Form Central and pull it down into Acrobat using that Save as PDF Form command, what you're getting is Adobe Reader Writes enabled automatically so that everything in your form automatically works for Adobe Reader users. You don't have to run that command, especially if you have signatures within your field. But this does tell you what to do about that. To create a copy that's not restricted, click Save a Copy. And what I'm going to do in this one is let's say this one is version 3. I'll click Save. Take a look at that. You cannot edit this file as a form. I'll click OK. Now, I'm in version 2. What I want to do is open up version 3 that I created. So it doesn't automatically move you to that new copy that you saved. So I'll double click this one, open it up, and now if I click Edit PDF Form, you can see I can get into form editing mode. So just be aware that when you pull it down onto your system and work with it in Acrobat, 
It is a reader enabled form and you do need to use the save a copy. And I don't really have that option here, but what they're referencing is this piece here. Form Central automatically enables this for reader users. And because of that, you can't get into form editing mode. So once you're in that, if you have that issue, just click save a copy, that button I clicked within the interface when I tried to edit the form, and it'll save it out. Just be aware you'll need to manually move to that new saved copy within Acrobat, and then your form is fully editable, even though it came from Forms Central. So Forms Central and Acrobat do work together even though they're technically two completely separate programs within your system. So that is working with a Form Central template and actually pulling that down, saving it onto your local system so you can work with it in Adobe Acrobat.